how do you know when you have established a leverageable connection in your networks and what are the valuable exchanges that must take place in that network to qualify as a viable network the fact is finding out the leverageability of your network is what determines the viability of that network to you it's okay to network as many people as possible but one thing is sure only few networks will result in deep connections now the depth of connectedness can be measured by how leverageable those present connections are here is the catch anything you can't measure you can't score and anything you can't score you can't do much with measuring connectedness in networks which either reveals the depth or the shallowness of that connectedness reveals not only leverageability but connection gaps which are indications of areas of growth in that relationship now here are the five metrics that must exist in every connection that will tell you that that network is now leverageable number one unrestricted openness existing constant and simplified communications in human networks which graduates into depth of human connections is actually one sure characteristics of network leverageability the deeper and more simplified the communications the more the openness the more the vulnerability and authenticity which people exhibit in their networks number two emotional connection there can be leverage without emotional connectedness. And the one sure place to find emotional connectedness existing in abundance is in your already existing human networks. Track record of enjoyable experiences alongside the emphatic presence of unconditional love is what makes for stressless leverageability. Number three, appreciating admiration. Human networks, whether employees, mentors, associates, family members or even team members become easily leverageable when appreciations and appreciating admiration flows without being demanded. Unsolicited appreciation and admiration is the oil that greases human connections for synergistic trust building and high level effectiveness. Number four, growing synergy. The presence of synergy in a human network is indicative of existing leverage and much more leveraging potential in that network positivity mutual concerns sense of communality and easy networking are all evidence of synergy existing in a human network and synergy on its own actually helps us grow our influence which actually multiplies our leveraging potential number five sacrificial poise this is the highest metrics for leverageable human connections when in existence your requests really get turned down the moment you notice that extra attention and energy flowing towards you to ensure your personal productivity full potential realization and even success in life and in business then you have your leveraging stance any day anytime but take note leveraging people is not the same thing as taking advantage of people but rather gaining or earning the advantage with people the moment they sense a foul play in your relationship with them then you have lost your leverageability if you have been enjoying the video thus far please click the like button follow or subscribe to my page having discovered how to measure the leverageability of your human network it is equally vital to note the exchangeable valuables that makes your present human network viable ultimately every human network ought to improve your social worth mental worth business and career worth and even marital and spiritual worth and in the absence of any of these improvements then that human network is not viable here are the seven valuable exchanges that must occur in every human network to keep it strong, warm, and leverageable. Number one, exchange of contacts. Contacts are potential human connections. Having established contacts are the key to career and business success. A person with established contacts 
is worth much more than any amount of human directory. This is why your network is actually your greatest asset. In your network, uh, establish professional and business contacts which are potential viable contacts to you. Please take note of this. When the contact is from your existing human network, then the connections are fastest with heavy level of results. Number two, exchange of intellect. Though not really an exchange, but an expansion of your intellect. That is, your scope of reasoning, your mental horizon, your thinking base and frequency. Your human connections are not only your physical environment, but your mental environment. The more you rub mind with your human connections, whose intellect are more expanded than yours, the more your intellect expands. Intellectual creativity and increased human productivity becomes the natural result of intellect expansivity. Number three, exchange of intelligence. Intelligence sharing is a common denominator of every human connection. The timing, quality, and frequency of shared intelligence in human circles is a revelation of the healthiness of such human connections. Whether it's ideas, unadvertised jobs, internships, advice, valuable news on trends, recent information about careers and roles, blog posts, every human network ought to be an extra library and intelligence resource. The speed and relevancy of your skills and accomplishments in the 21st century depends on this intelligence sharing. Number four, exchange of opportunities. While the quality and nature of opportunities available to humans in different global localities, opportunities regardless are universal. But in spite of the universality of opportunities, not every eye can identify opportunities. Not everyone is exposed to the same kind of opportunity. And not everyone exposed to the same kind of opportunity has capacity to tap into that opportunity. But herein lies the beauty and essence of human connections, opportunity sharing, business partnering opportunities, career growing opportunities, qualification reassessing opportunities, seminars, workshops, conferences, adventurous learning opportunities are some of the opportunities that either you or your connections can share. Number five, exchange of virtues. Though not only virtues exchange, as it can be called, adoption of virtues when the other party has nothing to gain. Beyond being productive at work, one core usefulness of this virtuous exchange is one's social well-being realization. Virtues such as self-control, authenticity, compassion, deep selflessness, integrity, assertiveness, moral vision, drive, and much more helps people become better versions of themselves. If there is no real virtue exchange going on, especially with respect to your life, or calling based connections then your societal fitness will be questionable number six exchange of supports viable human connections and natural life support systems for scalable impacts in any area of life supports in human circle can come in the form of physical financial emotional or spiritual Aside having a great measure of social well-being, supports also result in better management of adversity. The truth is, stamina is great, but support system-based stamina is a formidable force. And the last one, which is number seven, exchange of partnerships. Beyond receiving support from your network of human connections, highly rewarding lifetime partnerships can be born from such circles. And this is what we see in big businesses and ministries, where the right set of human connections actually establish multinational companies and mega and global ministries. Status, speed, and success are the triplet of partnerships that one can't escape scaling in. Thank you for your time. Watch out for my next video where I'll be talking about converting your network to your net worth. The analysis every business must do. Don't forget to share this video. God bless you.